Today, the CBS Evening News celebrates 50 years of one of their most beloved segments, On the Road, which features ordinary people doing some incredible things all across the country. And you know, not too long ago, they were right here in Reno. Kai Sisson has the story from both then and now. In 2012, On the Road with Steve Hartman came to visit then 17-year-old nuclear physicist Taylor Wilson at the Davidson Academy in Reno. Going underground. He was just a kid creating nuclear fusion. It was a story worthy of the segment's 50-year-old tradition of finding ordinary people with extraordinary stories. I remember Taylor Wilson's one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met in my life. Uh, I, I, <laughs> where do you start with this kid? He's an absolute genius and he's a joy to be around. Interesting characters are exactly what Charles Corral sought to find when CBS started on the road in 1967. I thought I'd take a ride and see what was going on in the countryside. Steve Hartman now carries the torch every week from around the country with a passion for stories he says are needed. If we over report anger and frustration, people are going to think that that's really what America is. So what I'm really in a nutshell trying to do with the segment is is just to remind people that we're still good. That was kind of the first major, you know, interview that I'd done. Taylor still lives in Reno and does much of what he talked about then, like his invention of scanning shipping containers for nuclear material, among other things. I run a company that's mainly focused on developing reactor technology, so power reactors. Um, I still have a presence here at the University of Nevada, so I run a research program here that does all kinds of different research from physics to biology to robotics. Steve famously ends his stories with a punch, a last sentence that is memorable and chilling. This is what he said for Taylor. I have too many ideas for a lifetime. Fortunately, he's got a really good head start. And now? I would consider coming back to Reno just if he would see me for dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to see Steve back here uh, soon, sooner than later. Covering the story, Kai Sisson, Channel 2 News. And coming up on the CBS Evening News, we will find out